Yo, what's going on YouTube? Oh, I'm feeling so much better. Just uh, had a cold for the last few days and just been at home, so it's just been great to just been able to get up and about and uh, just go, just get around it, get amongst it. This is like one of my favorite spots in, in Port Melbourne. But anyway, this is not what I wanted to talk to you about, is what I see guys struggling with is how to become more attractive, yeah? Uh, there are a few things that guys can do and that I see them not implementing every single day where they could be a better version of themselves, you know what I mean? Like they could take their physique, they could take their level, they could they take their style to the next level, yet they choose just to do bare minimum and just kind of be average. Now there's a few things that I think that, like if you're watching this guys and you're leaving a lot off the table, if you're not really dating and your, your dating life is kind of sucking at the moment, could be come down to a few of these things. Now, these five things that I'm gonna mention, purely off cuff, yeah guys, this is not like something full scripted, I'm gonna look at something. This is something that I, I see on guys every single day in real time where they could be better. And it comes down to these things, yeah? So the first thing is to get your income up. Like, guys, you just need to get your income up. That gives you options, it gives you resources, uh, it enables you to invest in yourself, yeah? So if you just say, for example, if you know, you've got no clothes or whatever, you need to be able to buy clothes. If you don't know much, like if you're, if you're not a captivating storyteller, you can go and get experiences. That's why traveling is important, guys. I earn money and I make sure that I always have money to travel. It gives me experiences, it gives me perspective, it gives me something to talk about. So I can be interesting, like I've had experiences. Guys, I've been, I've been lucky enough to travel off my bat uh, for 12 times to Europe, a couple times to America, three times to Asia, and I love it. Like, it's shaped the person who I am, but it's only because I've got the income up. Another thing with income, I can live in a multi-million dollar suburb, like here in Port Melbourne. And it's great, like in summer, it's gonna be going off and I absolutely can't wait. That's a, yeah, like it's, money is essential, yeah? Like a, a car, I got to drive a relatively new car, all paid outright in cash, why? Like it's, it's not the most crazy car, but it does the job. Girls don't give a fuck about exactly what car it is, you know what I mean? They just want to know that you can pick them up in a relatively clean car. You're not a bum, you know? Money is super important, guys. Now, after you sort your money out, yeah, like it enables you to go do heaps of cool shit, like traveling and all that kind of stuff. Then start thinking about, okay, how can I dress better, guys? Like, how can I dress to my body shape? We all have our strengths, yeah? Like, there's different, there's different styles for different people. It's, it's, I highly recommend you invest in someone to go with you. If you're not sure how to shop and do whatever, just invest like a stylist to come with you for a day and they'll tell you, listen here, bro, like this is your skin color, like your skin tone or whatever, these colors will work with you. This color tops, this, this and that, get light and dark pants, light and dark jumpers, light and dark shoes and all this kind of stuff. Make sure that you kind of just wear fitted stuff. It doesn't even have to be branded clothes, guys. Just make sure that everything's well fitted, yeah? Fitted is exactly like where you wanna be. I don't wear full designer stuff. Um, it's not that important. The, the most important thing is, does it fit well? This is why gym is really important. You need to make sure that you're maxing out physically and you're going to the gym pretty much every single day and making fitness a priority. So you can sort that shit out, have well-fitted clothes, all right? So you've got your money, right? Then you've got your, um, you've got your um, fashion on point. Now, guys, I see this all the time and people don't take care of their teeth, yeah? It's through diet, uh, maybe they drink sugary drinks, maybe they're drinking a lot of alcohol and all this kind of stuff. It's important that you have good, presentable teeth with no gaps, no shit in them, no chip teeth or whatever. Look after your teeth. These teeth that I have, they're, they're real. Not veneers or anything like that. They, they take a little bit of effort to kind of maintain in the form of two checkups a year. I brush every single day, twice a day, sometimes even three times a day. And that takes two, sec two minutes, like it's nothing crazy, but you wanna have good dental oral, oral hygiene so that like when you do get close to a female, she's not full repulsed by you, your breath doesn't stink and you know, like it looks nice and clean. I'm telling you, 
whenever you've got a clean smile, you walk around, you just got that better confidence, you know? It's just as simple as that. And another thing that I wanna talk about is after your oral care, probably the fourth thing is your grooming. Like, how, how are you presenting? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're always kind of fresh. I personally cut my hair <laughs> once a week. People might call that crazy, but I'm like, you don't forget to go to the pub or the bar or anything like that, all that, sh all that fuck shit once a week. So getting a haircut that costs 20 bucks is not a big deal, you know what I mean? It takes half an hour of your time, you look fresh, um, you just feel better about yourself when you're pre presenting. Like, look, these little things matter, you know? That with like clean facial hair, you know what I mean? If you've got a beard, just make sure it's like properly maintained. But if you've got like random facial hair like me that you can't grow a beard, just play to your strengths, guys. The whole thing is to play to your strengths. Hug your face. Do whatever you need to do to make you stand out. Everyone's got different features and identify what it is. And sometimes you might need help with this. Just get someone who's an expert at this kind of stuff to go, all right, this is the kind of style you need or these, these clothes you need. Maybe you should look at this. Don't get out of your own head. And it's hard to kind of get someone to kind of give you an outside perspective because you might think that you've been doing it right for all these years. But if you're not getting results with women, guys, and maybe that's the reason why, because you're letting yourself down in all these areas, you know what I mean? So like you got your money, you got your grooming, oral, um, you know, you, you, your fashion's on point, your money's on point. Now let's talk about your life setup. Are you doing things that are kind of conducive of bringing like someone into that life or are you boring? Like, are you doing shit that, yeah, like that's interesting, like, or are you just sitting at home? Like you might have a think about what you're interested in. It's easy to bring someone into your life when like it's something that you wanna do. Like you're constantly going out and you find fun in it and you can invite someone in, but you need the money. Then you need to do the, the work on the fashion. You need to do the work on the personal care and all that kind of stuff to bring it in. And then you're, you, you're able to like be captivating as well because you've, you've traveled money you've got in perspective you've got the money to like back it up and you can like can share perspectives and insights and be captivating and just like have just not be fucking boring you got shit to talk about then you've got hobbies you know what i mean like yeah just bring in like someone just do whatever you think that you'd normally do where it's in your element because at the end of the day like you got to be having fun this is not just for someone else like you want to be having fun yourself the whole point is to invite someone into your world. So like, sort that out, what that is for you, and just invite someone in, in there. And these five things, like if you just do these things, like I guarantee you'll have more success with women. They're saying that like, guys up until 30, one in three are virgins, you know what I mean? Like it's crazy, and more than like one in two guys hasn't had sex in over a year. That is absolutely crazy to me. And um, it's a little bit of an epidemic, so like, all right, so like, let's work back more from that. So now these five things will make you kind of feel better about yourself because you've just got more shit going on for yourself and presenting well or whatever. But yeah, like let's not neglect five ha habits that you guys should be looking at. And I know I preach this out through other videos, but it's very, very important, guys. You need to wake up early, yeah? Practice gratitude throughout the day. Not only that, Get, some, get a good workout in, it's absolutely essential. That is the best for your mind. Your body is a byproduct of what's going on in your mind. A healthy, healthy person, when you look at them, you know that their mind is healthy straight up and that they're exercising self-love. They think that they're worth it. You are worth it, guys. Trust me, you're worth it, yeah? Feed yourself correctly, yeah? There's no point, you can't outwork a shit diet, yeah? You need to be feeling yourself correctly. If you don't know how to eat, guys, I highly recommend that you suss out your macros, what macros are. If you don't understand what proteins, carbs, and fats are, just a simple Google. I've actually got some, uh, like a little bit of a cheat sheet going on here that I'm gonna release for free soon. And it just literally just talks, just helps you guys out, I'll give you a few little intro videos, talk about mindset, macros, nutrition, mentality. It's not that big of a deal, guys. Just think about it. If you're eating clean, guys, it's pretty much 90% there, yeah? Let's not reinvent the wheel. Not only that, you want to be getting, for, for the, the fourth habit, is you just want to be getting some good information. So just do some reading, like of like in people that have done interesting stuff. I'm, like, I'm talking about non-fiction stuff, not fiction, not fantasy. 
talk about, uh, just read about people that have just dominated, that have built businesses, that have done something that can ins inspire you to be more, you know what I mean? Because if you're where you're at right now, you probably want to be more. That's why you're watching this video. And then the fifth one is you've got to cut all habits, guys. I can't explain to you how much that's changed my life. I stopped all the bullshit. I know that I'm worth it. I feel so much better about myself. And um, I'm never looking back, guys. So I'm pumped, guys. I know it's been a while. I've uh, been walking out. This is the best that we can do for the weather. So this is, what we're, this is what we're doing. This is the best that we can do. And we are out here, guys. I'm vibing high. Looking forward to it. Life is good. Life is beautiful. And life is exactly how it should be. So just get it out and about, get amongst it. And um, yeah, guys, if you found any value from this video, good. I love you guys, and um, I'll see you in the next one.